if you see i am joined here today with a very special guest this is my roommate simone yes. hi guys and in this video we're going to be showing you our dorm and what it looks like we both are here at umkc and if you don't know umkc has two different dorm halls it has oak street and johnson and we have stayed at both so right now we're in Johnson Hall and that is the room that you are going to see today and if you have any questions about it just let us know in the comment section down below okay you guys so as we enter into the room we have Simone's closet Simone is my roommate she has been my roommate since the beginning of last semester and she is the best so yeah that is Simone over there <laughs> And then we also have my closet. And so my closet is a little bit of everything. We have my collection of cereal. So I'm obsessed with cereal. So if any of you guys are also obsessed with cereal, please comment down below what your favorite cereal is. She definitely is obsessed with cereal. <laughs> I eat it like every day. If we go back to where we started, we have a little door over here, which takes us into the bathroom. And so the bathroom is a little bit different than the Oak Street bathroom because this bathroom has, has like little cubbies to put your stuff in, but Oak Street does not. So at Oak Street, what I did was that I had a little locker shelf that I would put my stuff on top of to keep in the bathroom. And, oh, also a cool thing is that I repurposed a plant hanger as my towel hanger right here so that is a little diy trick come back to the room and this is where we step into our main area our carpet is the main area of hanging out this is the study room this is the study room exactly we had a bigger carpet at oak street but unfortunately we lost that one but now we have a new one yes. so there we go and my side of the room is up here from showing it to you, I'm gonna have you guess what my favorite color is. So comment that down below. And in my little night night desk or whatever situation, we have a little collage that I made before I came to college with like pictures of my dog, my boyfriend, my my family and friends. And of course, we cannot miss something about Puerto Rico. So, of course, I have that right there. And we have the flag because Boricua pride, of course. And then we have a little flower. This is from Valentine's Day last year. So I kept that. And this is a graduation gift from my mom. And then I have a fake plant because I don't do real plants, but Simone does. Do. Simone does have real plants. Look at the bamboo plant. Don't look at the other ones. They're yes. dying, but it's okay. Only the bamboo plant. It's very pretty. And it is right here on the window. You know, taken in the sunlight. And then this is Simone's dresser area. So she has a little vinyl situation. Do you want to explain that? Yes, it's the happier than ever vinyl. It's the only one I have. So Gabby's heard it a bunch of times. Yes, yes I have, but it is great. It's a great album, so I'm not complaining. And then she has beautiful wall art that I feel like really encompasses her personality. Yes, it's all colorful, and I'm a very colorful, colorful person. Yes, so, you are. Um, there's some like inspirational things on there, like there's take, one, take it one day at a time, which I like thought, you know, I'm gonna wake up and see that and be motivated. It didn't necessarily work, but it is pretty. <laughs> it is pretty, and it is decorating our beautiful wall right there. And then we move to the underside of my bed, which has a little bit of everything. We have our three-tier cart. I have two of them. So I highly recommend getting one of these if you haven't for college because it is very helpful. It can store a lot of things, and it is kind of small. So you can keep a lot of things on there. And I have my paper towels on there too. So multi-use, of course. And then we have a dresser. And we have this, which just has all my winter stuff, like gloves and earmuffs and socks. And we have my 
suitcase because I am packing for spring break because I'm ready to go home. So, and we have a computer lap thing. I don't know what, how you call this. Do you know what you call this, Simone? I think a lap thing is the correct term. A lap thing? A lap thing. So we're just gonna go with a lap thing. And we have a bed caddy thingy, which I highly also recommend getting. This one is a small one and it came with my bed set. Um, but I also have another one over here that I got on Amazon that has all my little um, journals and things. And then Simone has her own bed caddy <laughs> uh, to store her water and things like that. And it makes, you, makes it like very easily reachable from bed. So, and then we have my desk and I just organized it today. I have a lot of cables everywhere all the time, um, but today it is organized for you guys. I also made my bed, probably for the first time in the whole semester, only for you guys. So you guys are very special. And we have this unicorn that our sweet mate Maya gave me, and Maya is the best. You'll probably also meet her at some point. And we have this painting which was made by my sister. So shout out to the sister Adriana because she's the best and she is very talented and made a beautiful painting. Anyways, moving on, we have Simone's under bed side and she, on the other hand, instead of having a ton of crap like I do, <laughs> she has desk area down here, very cute and chic. Off your bed. Off your bed. It yes. So much more space. It does. And it also makes the room look bigger. Yes. Because whenever it wasn't lofted, it looked very small. So definitely loft your bed. For that, you have to request a lofting kit if you're staying in Oak, but it comes like automatically with your room if you're staying at Johnson. So that's just something to keep in mind. And so she has desk area. We have a little wax melter. You cannot have candles in the dorm. That's also something to note. And we both ended up getting the same wax melter over Christmas break without knowing it because we're officially mentally connected. Anyways, <laughs> we have her chair. And Simone also has a three-tiered cart with yes. her dishes and things like that. So we both highly recommend it. Yes, love them so much. We have our mar microwave and fridge, which are both provided in the room thankfully, so you don't have to go out and buy that. And our freezer, I wanna show you guys. Okay, oh my God, this is <laughs> filled with outshine bars because we are obsessed. It's all ice cream and then ice, but. Outshine bars are such a good snack. They sell them in the Smart Market. So when you get here and you want a little snack, the Smart Market and Oak is great for that. Yes, Smart Market, you can use one meal swipe a day, which is like $12 worth of stuff. So I highly recommend doing that um, whenever you get here and you need like a little snack or something. Oh, we have our fans. Simone has a purple one that actually is great for background noise when we, when I fall asleep. Like I couldn't fall asleep when I didn't have that background noise at one point. So that's great. And I have my own fan. But it's so silent. It is very silent. It doesn't make any noise. I don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't. I don't either. But it's great. And that one was a gift from Christy. And so love you, Christy. Shout out to Christy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of it. We don't really have much. Well, we have the sink area, which I didn't really show you. Um, our sink area has two, I guess, like, what do you call this? Crates? I don't know what you would call this. But we have one for me, and it has all my, like, makeup remover. We have a face mask in there, toothpaste, um, moisturizer, and things like that, and a little face towel to dry, you know, your face after you wash it or you brush your teeth. And we have Q-tips that we both share. We have our dish soap because that is absolutely necessary. Um, yes, have at least like one plate, one bowl, and at least one set of like Tupperware, no, yeah, Tupperware too to have leftovers. And like forks and knives and stuff like that. You only need like one set of those, but 
yeah, if you're gonna be eating cereal every day like me, then you need those. And then we have some on the side. And then we have in here, it's supposed to be like a medicine cabinet. So you can keep your things in there too. Yeah, that is the sink area. And under the sink, I've seen that people have like, a, um, what do you call those? I literally, baskets, oh my gosh, yes, baskets, that's the word. Um, they have little baskets under there, but we keep our cleaning supplies um, in the sink area. At Oak, you have the sink and there's like a little cabinet. cabinet, yes, cabinet area. And that's where we used to keep our cleaning supplies. So just a tip for um, more space making, get locker shelves like this one. The ones you have at school, like if you have extra ones, those are great for stacking things up and it gives you more room like under the things and you can put things on top. So I had those locker shelves in the um, Oak Street cabinet under the sink area and <laughs> I had like extra soap, extra shampoo and stuff like that under, under there on the shelf. So, and the closet also looks a little bit different in the oak. Um, there's not as much top shelf area, but um, you still have enough space to keep everything because I did it successfully last semester. And so this right here is cabinet situation. Let me move in, move my broom and stuff. I was cleaning yesterday because we're going on spring break and we wanna have this room clean, but this little cabinet comes with the room. And so you can put stuff in here. I just have like cleaning supplies and you can lock it if you would like. So if you have valuables, you can put them in there. And it has a little drawer also. My picnic blanket, which I used for the first time this week because it was finally warm. And then also these dressers come with the room as well. So you don't have to worry about that. If you don't have that many clothes that you need to fold, then you're set. I have too many things and need another one, but that's just me. You may not need that. Anyways, is there anything else that we should add? Um, bring a lamp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, the lighting is fine, but you might want a little bit more. I mean, at least for me and Gabby, we need a whole bunch of lights function. Like every mm -hmm. light needs to be on. Yeah. Um, for us to not be depressed. So I would definitely <laughs> recommend bringing a lot of lights. Or just yes. Light. Yeah. We have this lamp over here, which I brought from home, and it is kind of falling apart. You can't really see, but it is broken. Uh, but it's okay because it still gives us light, and it is the best thing. Also, get fan. A clock. Yeah, uh -huh. get a clock. It is very helpful. I have class very early in the morning, and I just look at the clock. And I know if I need to get out of bed or not. So yes, that's also a good recommendation. I think that we're gonna make a video about what to pack for your dorm and maybe what to pack just for college in general at some point. So maybe tune into that, you know, push that notification bell if you wanna see when that video comes out. Um, but yeah, there's definitely certain things that you will want to bring, um, but we will post that at some point later and yeah that was the dorm tour guys okay do you want to say bye simone bye guys <laughs> subscribe yeah subscribe, subscribe and like and yes, like this video if you find it helpful anyways i hope that you enjoyed the dorm tour if you have any questions about umkc let me know in the comment section down below and i will do my best to answer them maybe i'll do a q a about umkc um soon so if you have those questions make sure to put them down below so that i can see them and yeah go follow me on instagram at life underscore with underscore underscore gabs <laughs> anyways see you guys later